trade map. Uh, the problem solving plan is the name of the unit. This is the last one for chapter one. So we have uh, one vocabulary, which is unit analysis. Unit analysis is um, talking about analyzing um, like labels, the answers. Usually it's off on me so I don't pay attention. This right here would be grit. Um, would be like labels for the units. And that sometimes is dollars, feet, yards, etc. So we can, um, you know, seconds, miles, and Sometimes it will do it more and more throughout this book as we get going. So we'll see as we get there. I'll talk about it. Okay, example one, understanding and planning. Um, one of the things I'm just going to talk about this problem solving plan, because we've got some steps to it. And one of the first steps is to just figure it out, understand what to do. So you and a friend decide to compete in a triathlon. You both swim 200 meters, bike 10 meters, and then run two kilometers. The table shows your speeds for swimming in meters per minute and biking in kilometers per minute. Who has the better time after the two stages? So we're just reading, trying to figure out what to do. So we make a plan, and our plan is going to be, first we read and understand, and we say, okay, what do we know? The table tells us our speed for swimming and for biking, the 200 meters and the 10 kilometers. We need to find out what's our total, who has the better total time, uh, me or my friend? So we make a plan, and our plan is going to be, what do we do? How do we know, how do we use what we have to find out the answer? So find each of your swimming and biking times. You can organize the information in a table. Find each of your total times, and then compare those times. So we'll get to example two in a second. We'll solve it. But number one, for the guided practice, which formula would you use to find the swimming and running times? Well, since we're missing time, and, you know, I would still use, probably just go ahead and just use this one. But since time is the one that's missing and they give it to us, I would use B. Because the time is the thing we're trying to find out and solve for. And that's what they're going to say. But you could still use the other one and come up with the answer. So we carry out the plan. And I'm not going to write the whole thing because they do it for us. Look at this table. They take our swimming. We go 200 meters. And we do it in 76.9 meters per second, so we go 2.6 meters a minute. We bike 23.26 meters uh, a minute. And our friend does 2.42 and 24.39. So our friend, um, 2.42 meters per minute, we go faster in swimming. And we don't quite go as fast in biking, but we make up for the difference. So when we add that total time up, we see that we're a little bit faster than our friend. Okay? So in the guided practices, I suppose in example two, that your friend biked a rate of 0 0.44 kilometers per minute. So let me go back to that table. So what we would do instead of this, here's our friend right here, instead of the 0 0.41, they said that friend does. 0 0.44 and they were already slower than us so by um, they go 0 0.44 um, meters per second which is slower so they're going to still be slower than us so we don't have to really do we just have to kind of look at it and analyze it let's see what happens here it says your friend has a better total time after meters per, oh they go more meters per second which is going to make them go faster than us okay well I'm not going to divide that all out but you guys can kind of see hopefully okay example three city blocks using a problem solving plan in the parts of New York City the blocks between the avenues are called long blocks there are four long blocks per mile Blocks between streets are called short blocks. There are 20 short blocks per mile. You block 40 short blocks and 6 long blocks. 
how many miles do you walk? So we're trying to find our distance here. And um, our total distance, we are walking 40 short blocks. Let's do the short blocks first. It takes 20 short blocks to make a mile. So how many 20s are in 40? We walk 40 um, short blocks. And it's 20 blocks per mile. So I kind of I'm going to cancel out the words block and block because they are on top of each other. They cancel out just like numbers would, and we would have miles left. That's a little bit of unit analysis right there. I'm looking at the units. So we would go two miles in the short blocks. There's four long blocks per mile. We walked six blocks on the long blocks, and there's four of those blocks per mile. So the blocks are going to cancel out again. Four goes in there with two and two fourths left over, which is two and a half. So that's two and a half miles. No, not two, sorry, one and a half miles. So we would get a total of three and a half miles. And I did a little unit analysis in there. That's where you're seeing me cross out the words. Let's see how they did it. Read and understand it come up with a plan and they're doing it kind of the opposite way but they're still you'll notice it's still the same thing get the two miles they get the mile and a half they're, they're multiplying but in the long run they're still dividing it so how many miles would you walk if you did 50 short blocks and that's the same thing 50 divided by 20 and that'd be 50 blocks divided by 20 blocks per mile blocks cancel out again 20 into 50 twice, which is 40. We'd have 10. We'd have half of 20 left over, so that's two and a half miles. If we go 12 long blocks, it takes it takes 20. Let me come back to this again. It takes um, hmm, it takes four long blocks to make a mile. So that would be three miles. So two and a half plus three. Five and a half miles. So let's see if they can do that. They go through and they do their little formula. Same deal. Three to five and a half, just like we did. So there you are for 1.7, just doing some problem solving. Read your problems and just keep on going. See you next time.